Sup? Hello, everybody, and welcome to the house that is officially mad. If you're new around here and you're not subscribed, please consider supporting my channel by smashing that subscribe button below. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up, chuck us a comment. Where are you from? This world is a big world. Let's hear it. Where are you from? There's ways you can support me. I'll put that shebang in the description box below. I now have memberships. I have three tiers. Go on over and have a look at those tiers. I have created a special top tier for those that are opera fans. That is going to be exclusive. And I stress the word exclusive content that no one is going to hear ever. It'll be stuff that I've transferred from my mother's endless cassette collection. I wanted to do that for you guys, if you chose to do so. It could range from an aria to a full opera. And just so you know, there is a full opera coming. Mm -hmm. I wanted to create something in line with meat and music, as opposed to love and music, visitarte, from Tosca, meat and music. I wanted to give you guys that. The next tier down from that, well, go and have a look. It is basically, I know I said I'd never do it, but I have been thinking about it for a little while now. And one of the things that I learned in the last couple of weeks was, well, I got a lot of e emails from people and I, I managed to get through them. There was a lot, but it was, they always pretty much started the same way. I don't feel comfortable posting in an open forum like that. And it occurred to me that it's kind of difficult when it's all open like this to create a safe environment. You're always going to be subjected to the sillies. And I wanted to try and create that space by giving you guys memberships so that we can talk about anything. I'm not ever going to talk about anything exclusive about the lifestyle that I'm on. If I do, it'll be something that I do share with everybody in the open forum. But it's mostly from a place of wanting to create a place where people can feel more comfortable and at ease in a smaller group to talk about, well, our lives can sometimes be quite crappy, let's be honest. And I wanted to create a place where you guys could lean on each other in a small group environment so that when I go live, you can ask me questions, we can discuss topics and stuff like that. I can work in an hour live on the weekend. I'm thinking Sunday. That's not going to be a problem at all. It's just a case of whether it's going to be at a time that's going to suit the vast majority of my viewers, which are in the States. So I'm thinking it'll probably be early evening my time. We'll just have to see how that goes based on when my videos get looked at. Seems to be anywhere from 7 p.m., 10 p.m. my time, and a lot of it also during the night. But I'm not doing a live at 3 a.m. Oh. So head on over, no obligation. I just wanted to create something special for you guys. That top tier is, yeah, that's a special one. That's dedicated to the the opera fans that I do have around here and to my mother. And like I said, there's going to be arias in there, full operas, so you can just press play and go about your housework. Everything will be tracked. If it's a full opera, everything will be tracked so that you can go to your favorite bits if you want to. You'll have all the Italian of those particular sections. Everything will be time stamped everything. And if I've got photographs of her in that particular role, you will get those photographs of her in that particular role. In some cases, it'll be something that I'll only have a publicity photograph of her. But for the most part, I've got photographs of her in any given role that I've got in those cassettes. 
I wanted to share those with you. No obligation, of course. And as with tiers, you understand you get the first tier, that's what you get. The second tier, you get the first tier plus extras. The last tier, you get the first two tiers plus the extras. So it's all, it all carries forward. So like I said, no obligation. But if you want to have a look deeply into what that all means, click on the join button and have a look and up to you. Again, I'm sorry for not weighing in last week. Just wasn't in a good space. And I'm very grateful that you guys gave me that week's grace to be able to just decompress. And as I said in Thursday's video, your support was everything to me because it wasn't the support wasn't just about the food. It was about my personal life. And honestly, you guys are amazing. And I thank you for it. And if I'm being honest, I think my husband thanks you for it too, because there's only so much one man can do. <laughs> so I think he's grateful too. But I've started this week and I weighed in. And... I saw the amount that I lost and I was like, wait, what? Now we're close to a hundred pounds, folks. We're close. So that's a milestone in itself. But as of today, I've reached a very important, to me, very important milestone. I think we're just going to get into it sooner rather than later. So let's just cue that montage. As you can see, I had a considerable loss. Measurements were bust, waist was the same, hips, it's a moving. But if you have been around here for a little while, you'll see that photograph that I put up of me when I started Tony Ferguson many moons ago. I am now 400 grams below that starting weight. So, here we go, folks. Yeah. Very likely that I'm going to add the photographs that I did actually take as I was losing the weight when I was on Tony Ferguson so that we can see the difference. I, I already know there's a very big difference in the body composition. I know there is. But there are going to be some Tony Ferguson photographs added so that we can look at the comparison of the uh, body composition and also week by week how much I lost here on Carnivore as opposed to what I lost when I was on Tony Ferguson. It's going to be interesting to see 
those two journeys merging to see what happens. Now, I already know that once, I mean, I could be wrong this time, but due to past experience, I already know that around about the 150 mark, the weight is going to start slowing down. But I also have to remember that it's not just about losing this weight. I've got to heal my body. So some of you are going to look at that 2.1 kilo loss and go, what? How? What did she do? I'm going to tell you what I did. Prior to all of this, you all knew how I felt about not getting nourished enough. And I have been making the effort when I could to have extra food. Now, say like night before I'd have bacon and eggs, I'd always have extra bacon cooked. And although cold, I would eat it the next morning. I am adopting the Bella one stick of butter every day method. Did it yesterday. I've done it today. Uh, I know a stick is about 113 grams. Uh, a stick in America is 113 grams here. I'm going to make it about 100 grams per day. I need the extra fat. Plain and simple. So I have been eating more. I have increased the fat. I have been also doing isometric exercises that I can do sitting down. They are within the realms of what I'm capable of doing and they are safe, which is the main thing. We all know how I feel about safety and exercise. I've never said I would never do it. I've always said I would. It just had to be safe to do it. The isometric exercises seem to be very, very safe. Now, I did it for a couple of days last week when I was of the mind to do so and oh I felt it in my legs and it was a good pain because it was like you know when you don't do exercise for a long time and then you suddenly go out there and do exercise and you're like oh my god <laughs> you feel it in your muscles because your muscles are going what are you doing it was a different kind of pain to what I normally live with day in day out so I was good with different I was good with different I'm going to continue to do those because you can do them sitting down or standing up. So I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I will put the link to the video that I follow in the description box below if you want to have a look at that. Isometric exercises. Yeah, it's going to be a good way to go for me. Eventually, I want to be able to use the resistance bands on my vibration plate, which I'm still using minimum twice a day. So that's really all I did was I increased the food, I increased the fat, same amount of water, same amount of coffee, just a little bit less stress if I'm being honest, but I increased the food, I increased the fat, still lost. Last time I weighed in, yeah, sure, I put on. I was also stressed, but I hadn't increased the fat. And even though I'd increased the food just a little bit, I wasn't doing any isometric exercises either. So there's a whole heap of things that's going on. And I'm very much on a bacon and eggs kick at the moment. It's like bacon, I just, I need bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs, all the bacon and eggs for days. Can't help it. I don't know why. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Still can't stomach porterhouse steaks. Not happening. Mm -mm. No. If I go for a steak, it's rump. I do want some nice scotch fillet, though, soon. I, I would just like to have something really nice. And I really, 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 really want a smoker yesterday. Because by all accounts, a smoker is a game changer for a carnivore. I mean, it would live out here. I mean, there's the pizza oven. <sighs> they made pizzas last night. You didn't even use the pizza oven. So I'm like, well, you know what? Let's just get moving, create some space in the garage, get that out of here. Over there is a barbecue, which hasn't been used in years. My husband uses the char grill thing, which is, it tastes better anyway. So that can go. So the smoker can go there as far as I'm concerned. 
I'll sit out here and smell all that loveliness being cooked. I'm all for it. <laughs> so, yes, that's pretty much the it this week. It's 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 been rough. It, it The last couple of weeks have been particularly rough, but we're coming out the other side of it now. Uh, and I think that's that's all to report, really. So I'm going to leave you lovely people in peace. <laughs> so I think you've had enough from me for one day. I'd like to ask that you please be kind to those around you. Protect your peace. Don't take any crap. Be kind to yourself, especially if that means a little self-tough love talk. You are loved. You are appreciated. And you are enough. I'll see you Thursday, folks. Mwah.